The Hoboert is a large working breed from Germany, with a sturdy build, long fur, fluffy tail, and floppy ears. This beloved German breed has long served as watchdog and guardian, and it was even named for those talents. In fact, Hoboert springs from the German word Hof, meaning yard or farm, and Watcher, meaning watchman. These dogs are extremely intelligent, free-thinking, and loyal companions for anyone who is up to the challenge of fulfilling their high exercise and training needs. So if you're looking into getting a Hoboert puppy, you've come to the right place. In this video today, we'll tell you everything you need to know about the breed, from their behavior and temperament to their grooming and health issues. So without further ado, let's start our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Hoboert. But before we begin, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Hoboert owners in this video who let us use the images and clips of their dogs Topi, Fanta, Zero, Hera, Lola, Armis, and Kusti. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these adorable dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's pick in the list. Number 1. Their History The Hoboert dates as far back as the Middle Ages. The breed's main job back in those days was to guard over the flocks, castles, and farms of the German barons. Although highly valued throughout the medieval times, the Hoboert later faced near extinction not just once, but twice. In the early 1900s, the Hoboert began to lose its popularity to breeds like the German Shepherd. But in 1922, breeders in the German Harz Mountains formed a Hoverwort club and set out to reconstruct the breed. Led by zoologist Kurt Friedrich Koenig, the club crossbred the remaining Hoverworts with other working breeds. These included the German Shepherd, Leon Berger, Newfoundland, and Kovaz. In 1937, the Hoverwort received official recognition from the German Kennel Club. But the breed's reconstruction effort suffered the effects of the Second World War. Many of the Hoverworts joined the German war effort, and only a few remained after 1945. Fortunately, breed enthusiasts rallied again to recreate the breed, forming the German Hoverwort Club. The breed first appeared in the UK in 1980, and since 2010, it has been a part of the AKC's foundation stock service. Number 2. Their Appearance The Hoverwort is a powerful, medium-sized working dog. Their dense coat is long and lightly waved, with only a slight undercoat. Their hair is long in the chest, belly, back of their legs, and tail. They come in three color variations, namely black with tan points, black, or blonde. According to the breed standard, the coat of blonde dogs should become lighter on the legs and belly. Blonde hoverworts also have a pink sheen to their skin. Other distinct features include their triangular drop ears that are set high and wide apart, giving the optical illusion of a broad skull. The ears are long enough to reach the corners of the mouth and have a rounded tip. The breed also has a bushy tail that extends past the hocks, but not all the way to the ground. Number 3. They are good family dogs Hoverworts are very faithful companions and make great family pets. These dogs have strong jaws and sharp teeth, but they have a low tendency to chew, play bite, or nip at people. Also, if you hear a hoverwort barking, they likely have a legitimate reason to do so, as they aren't a yappy breed by any means. The breed is fairly skeptical and wary of strangers, but once they see their humans accept this new person, they'll gradually begin to let their guard down. In short, you can say hoverworts are non-aggressive dogs unless they are provoked. Number 4. They are highly active As a working breed, the hoverwort is happiest when they have a job to do. If they get bored, they may take it upon themselves to find something to do to keep themselves busy. And fair warning, the job they find isn't always as pleasant as the one you give them. Hoverwort excels at all sorts of activities such as guarding the home or livestock, participating in search and rescue organizations, therapy dog activities, obedience or agility trials, fly ball, or service dog training. Number 5. They need early training Training your Hoverwort should begin immediately, as these dogs have very strong and stubborn personalities. Hoverworts also have strong guarding instincts and need training to help them understand the appropriate use of this behavior. Early socialization in particular can help you curb your dog's natural guarding tendencies. These dogs may learn quickly due to their high intelligence, but their headstrong personality makes them more difficult to train. Their free-thinking nature also means they will take in a situation and form their own opinion on how to respond. But while these dogs may be difficult to train at first, it's essential not to use harsh or disciplinary training methods. This form of training can backfire and cause more behavioral problems. Instead, like most dog breeds, the Hoverwort responds best to positive reinforcement. These smart canines want to work with you and not for you, so make sure you try to work as a team. Number 6. Their compatibility with children and other pets The Hoverwort gets along well with children when properly socialized with them at a young age. They can become very protective of kids in the household since they view them as the members of their pack. But due to the large size of this breed, it is very important that you supervise their playtime and make sure the dog isn't getting too rough with their children. 
and as with any dog breed, children must always be taught how to properly interact with dogs, especially one of this size, in order to make sure both the dog and child can interact together safely. Hoverworts have a very dominant temperament, which can sometimes make it quite difficult for them to interact with other canines. It can be a tough task socializing your hoverword with other dogs, but if you plan on having them interact with any dogs in the future, you gotta start taking your hoverword to dog parks from their puppyhood. You can also start socialization classes with other puppies as soon as you bring one home. As long as they're socialized at a young age, hoverworts generally get along well with cats or other pets in the household too. Number 7. They have high exercise needs. Since the hoverwort is a working dog breed, these dogs need plenty of physical exercise to stay happy and healthy. They're not necessarily a needy breed, but they do need to have someone who can give them the proper amount of attention they require. Hoverworts are considered to be very versatile dogs, which makes them perfectly suited to go on hikes with their humans, even on trails with more difficult terrain. They're also excellent jogging partners. Just make sure you always walk in front of your dog in order to show that you are the pack leader. In addition to jogs and hikes, the hoverwort is also very fond of dog agility and other doggy sports. They have high energy level and so regardless of what type of physical activity they engage in, they require at least an hour long walk per day. For mental stimulation, you can get your hoverwort games or puzzle toys that'll keep them occupied. Number 8. They have great sense of smell. The hoverwort not only has great guarding instincts, but also has an amazing sense of smell. These guys do exceptionally well in tracking and search and rescue jobs. They have an impeccable ability to detect, recognize, and follow a specific scent. With their heightened olfactory abilities, hoverworts are able to detect, track, and locate the source of certain odors better than most other dog breeds. German records from the early 1400s have mentioned hoverworts as dogs capable of tracking thieves and bandits thanks to their heightened olfactory senses. Number 9. Their grooming needs. The hoverwort is a low maintenance dog and only requires brushing once a week. Since these pups do not have much undercoat, they don't shed heavily on a regular basis. But they do still shed throughout the year. Shedding occurs when the dead hairs loosen and fall out. And so by grooming once a week, these dead hairs can be easily removed. Weekly grooming will also keep any tangles or mats from becoming unmanageable. Tangles can easily form behind the hoverwort's ears and in the feathering on the legs. Since their ears hang down, they may be more prone to ear infections. So make sure you check their ears when they are groomed for any dirt or foul smell that might indicate an infection. You must also trim their nails as needed, usually every few weeks. And of course, don't forget to brush the dog's teeth regularly. Number 10. They're generally healthy. Thankfully, the excellent care hoverwort breed enthusiasts and the German hoverwort club took during the reconstruction efforts for the breed resulted in very healthy canines. There are no major genetic health problems associated with the hoverwort breed, and hip dysplasia is only seen in around 5% of the hoverworts. With that said, there are a few health issues that one may want to look out for with the hoverwort. They've got a tendency towards some minor health problems like ear infections or ingrown nails. The breed may also sometimes suffer from hypothyroidism. Make sure you never miss regular visits to the vet for your hoverwort's checkups. You can also discuss any questions or concerns regarding their health with your vet. Alright guys, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the hoverwort. Thank you so much for watching the video. Are you ready to welcome this highly active breed into your family? Let us know in the comments below. And if you already have one of these guys at home, we'd also love to know their specific traits. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and share it with your friends and family as well. Subscribe to our channel for more dog-related videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.